Welcome to this video in which I am going to present the paper on detail outstanding methodologies in Erasmus Plus projects related to learning based on a research work that is being carried out within the University of Salamanca PhD program on education in the knowledge society with the mentoring and supervision of Francisco José García Peñalba. Let's start with a few information related to the research. Through this research work, we are looking for the most outstanding educational practices that have worked adequately in a group of European projects that are catalogued as a good practice or success story and linked with e-learning and information and communications technologies. This presentation focuses on how the research has been approached, shows the current state of the research, the progress made in the preparation phase of the questionnaire and its application, including the data analysis carried out so far. Regarding the methodology for the research, it follows the guidelines specified in systematic reviews of research projects. This procedure implies four stages. The first one is a study definition, the second one is screening and definition, the third project selection, and the fourth one the analysis. And presently, we are undertaking the analysis phase through the survey design to collect information that is more detailed on key aspects of the projects in relation to the degree of success and the ICT tools used. Let's go on to review how the survey design has been made. The development of the survey has been based on theories of questionnaire design from different publications and different models have been reviewed to try to elaborate the survey, which has finally resulted in a maximum length of 21 questions with dichotomous and open sub questions for an average time of 20 minutes. The survey is divided in six sections. The first one is aimed at identifying the project with the sole purpose of being able to contact afterwards for an interview. The second one is aimed at global aspects that have favored the projects being classified as a good practice or success story. The third has to do with the students and the ICT tools used in the teaching processes with them. The fourth is focused on collecting information relating to teachers and ICT. The fifth is devoted to other aspects of the project related to the use and sustainability of the results achieved from the projects, among other things. And the final section is oriented to collect the main conclusions. The following slide presents the main goals achieved and the next steps. Regarding the screening project selection and response rates, the starting point was 1,144 uh, projects and the total amount of institutions contact contacted in the end after the, the sampling, screening and, um, and selection of projects were 849 of which 187 have completed the questionnaire satisfactorily. Therefore, the response rate has been of 22%, that is a good result in order to gather useful information of on good practices. Regarding the next stage, uh, the survey results analysis being presented on different papers, analyzing different aspects of the survey, the analysis of the data would allow to provide a guidance to teachers and teacher trainers to know the key factors for a good design of educational projects, as well as an optimal use of ICT resources and a real impact on the teaching learning process. And uh, the next stage will, will be an interview phase with some of the survey projects because it's very interesting to collect information that allows us to better understand and to deepen the knowledge of the use that has been made of ICT with the students and teachers in the projects, the sustainability after the funding period and their present use and impact. 
Thank you very much for your interest and I'll be very happy to reply any questions that you may have regarding the paper. Here you can find more contact details.